Presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. The adventures of Jungle Jim, broadcast weekly over this station, are based upon the action pictures which appear in the Comic Weekly, the full-color comic supplement which is delivered to you every week with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Harvey Brandt, the ghost of the Java Seas, the pirate who preyed on ships along the coast of Borneo, seized their cargoes, sank the ill-fated vessels, and vanished into thin air, the most formidable enemy of the Oriental waters, has been caught. His treasure loot recovered. His jungle camp dismantled. Once again, Jungle Jim with Kolo and Shanghai Lil have solved a riddle that defied authorities for months. And now, as the case is completed, Jim and Lil are finishing up their reports. I'm sorry it's all over, Lil. What do you mean, all over? Brent, the piracy, the hunt in the jungle. Well, maybe the next one will be bigger. Next one? You're not giving up the business. Giving it up? All over, you said. I thought maybe you'd be passing up the next adventure. Oh. You'll get a nice reward for your part in this, you know. You won't have to risk your lovely neck in another dangerous enterprise. I love it, Jim, with you. Um, uh, the reports on uh, Harvey Brandt's camp, uh, the jungle camp, where are they, Lou? Oh, over by the lamp, that sheaf of papers with the rubber band. Oh, yeah, yeah, thanks. Where do you think we may go next? Next? Then you're not passing it up. Uh, hardly. Well, Lil, there's a strange thing happening up off the coast of Russia between Japan and Russia. Fishing fleets from both countries use those waters. Yeah. And every so often, the whole fleet disappears. Maybe a dozen or more good-sized boats and a hundred men vanish, and are never heard of again. Russian or Japanese? That's a funny thing. If it were either one, they would blame it on the other. But sometimes it's Russian, and sometimes it's Japanese. Typhoon. And they tell me the fleets have always disappeared in perfect weather. Funny. Maybe there's no connection, but I found out one other thing. It's pretty far north sometimes where they're last seen. Not far from Alaska. Really? Yeah. And the story goes that a number of old-timers have seen great flocks of birds that normally head south in winter flying north. Flying north? Yeah, which means that some strange force, possibly a magnetic pull, may be turning men and birds around, drawing them north to their doom, or... Or what? Or, Lil, somewhere up there is a lost continent. Oh. And the climate is so tropical that the birds... A tropical country in the Arctic Circle. I know it sounds crazy, Lil, but so do lost fleets and... Great flocks of birds flying in the wrong direction. It sounds like adventure. Uh-huh. Then in South America, there are great areas along the upper Amazon that have never been touched. The ruins of the ancient Inca and Maya civilizations on the outskirts of those jungles make one think that they may hold secrets that would interest the world. Just name the plan and I'll be with you. Oh, say, uh, are these all the uh, typewritten sheets? Oh, unless, uh, oh. Here are the ones covering the time you and Kolo spent on the SS Manchu before it was sunk. Mm, Kolo should be here in a day or so. The British man of war is bringing him in. And Smithers and Lefty? Yep. All the Brant pirate gang. You know, we brought in on the same boat. Well, Cole really used his head to get those fellows to expose the hiding place of the loot. He certainly did. Will he go with us on our next adventure? You bet he will, Lil. And that's going to be real soon, too. In fact, we start as soon as Cole arrives. Start where? Yes. Alaska? No. Not Tibet again. One more guess. Up the Amazon. No. Just a good old-fashioned tiger hunt in the melee jungle the idea? Well, Lil, we've been hunting people so long, I want to rest. Something quiet and peaceful like, uh, well, like a snarling tiger. <laughs> Do you mean it? If you're with me. I'll hunt anything bigger than a mouse. All right, start packing. I'm taking this report over to headquarters, and we're going on a tiger hunt. Two days later, Kolo returned from Harvey Brandt's jungle camp on the British Man of War, and after turning his prisoners, Smithers and Lefty, as well as the other pirates, over to the authorities, joined Jungle Jim and Lil on their trip to the Malay jungle. Well, tomorrow we make port, and then for the jungle. Kolo glad Juan not go to Borneo for hunt. Why not Borneo, Kolo? I've seen some marvelous animals they brought back from there. Hmm. Borneo not healthy for Tuan Jim or Kolo. Not healthy? You don't mean jungle fever. No, Kolo mean native chief. Very mad. Oh, that's right. You broke the engagement with his daughter. Why, Kolo, I thought you'd marry her. Are you two still quarreling over that brunette? 
Kolu no quarrel. Kolu leave quick. <laughs> that's a man for you. He'll hunt tigers, but he'll run from a woman. Well, Lil, that's because a tiger will only fight when it's hungry. But a woman. All right. Mm-hmm. One Jim no run from anybody. That's the trouble with Jim. By the way, that's the reason I took you up on this trip, Jungle Jim Bradley. What's the reason? Your weakness for adventure. I don't get you. You mean this adventure? I have a weakness for tigers? Why, when did I ever call you a tiger? Oh, no. I mean, I wanted to get you away from Singapore. To hunt tigers? To do anything. All right, Lil. Come on. Quit quit the mystery. Listen, Jim. These manhunting adventures you're always going out on, we're all right for a while. But we've made money. We've done all right. Let's enjoy it. Let's call them off. Let's take life easy. Lil, that must be a woman's intuition. I had already decided on that very thing. You're not fooling. Not a bit. I'm through with this business. Lil, you and I are going to head for America in a good time. They tell me they're going to have a World's Fair there next year. Well, we'll open it, kid. Yeah, and close it, too. And the next day, the boat put in at Kuala Lumpur, where a party was made up to head inland on a tiger hunt. Jim, Kolo, and Lil, and a party of natives started in to bag some of the most dangerous of all jungle animals, the wild Malay tiger. Uh, native brought news, Tuan. What was it? He say from tribe deep in jungle. For two weeks, big tiger has made the people afraid, stealing pigs and dogs for food. But what else? Uh, Many, many dangerous things there. People very much afraid. He say one time tiger steal baby and run off. So natives send him to get white guards with guns to come kill tiger. It looks like a perfect setup. Mm, too much so, Lil. Uh, Tuan Jim think native not tell truth? I don't know. There are tigers up in here, Jim. Yes, I know, Lil. And while that giant business is probably their imagination. No, I'm not thinking of that. Natives are funny, Lil. A dog, a few pigs, even a baby. Doesn't usually send some natives running to a white settlement. They hate the whites. They know what his guns will do. Right. And they're willing to risk a lot to get one or two. Uh, Tuan Jim think it trick. Mm, the government won't let them have guns. So the ones they get are always taken from the dead bodies of hunters who, who somehow accidentally... We were bringing along some bait to set a trap for a tiger. Mm, this giant tiger may be just a bait to set a trap for us, Lil. But, well, there's only one way to find out. Come on. <laughs> And while Jim is heading into the Malay jungle with Shanghai Lil and Kolu to find what new adventures lurk in the marshes and swamps and tangled trees ahead, two military officers far away in Washington, D.C., America, are holding a conversation that may mean a new assignment for Jungle Jim. This is a dangerous mission, General. Dangerous is a mild term for what you've outlined. I'd say the man who tackles this has about one chance in 50 of coming through. Yes, and that's the pity. Requires the smartest type of mind. One whose judgment is perfect and instantaneous. It will be bad to lose a man like that. <laughs> it's almost impossible to find one. Yeah, they don't grow on trees. Some of your men have rendered distinguished service, General, and might accomplish the job, but this case should be handled by one man. One man? A man certain to be unknown to our enemies. You think they anticipate trouble? Anticipate it. Uh, they've been preparing for it for months. Telephone wires have been tapped, confidence men slugged, and their messages and papers stolen from them. It's serious business. Have you any idea where the headquarters are? Well, only a general guess. If we knew we could concentrate enough strength to make an open break and force a showdown. You aren't ready for that yet. No. In fact, we couldn't possibly allow it to occur. International relations are too strained to permit any open incident which would permit what let alone provoke any upset to the balance of power. From what you've said, I can appreciate your anxiety. Yes, we must nip the whole thing in the bud. But we have to find the bud. Worse than that, we have to find a man who can find the bud and who is willing to risk his life to do it. Give me a few days to think it over. Well, time is precious, but we must delay, I guess. Oh, by the way, you must have a man familiar with the tropics. Familiar with the tropics, eh? Yes. 
Yes, that's very important. Now, wait a minute. That gives me an idea. I know the man, and he's unknown to our enemies. Why? Who are you thinking of? There's only one man for this job. He's an American living in Malaysia, an well, adventurer then. and a great manhunter. You've probably heard of him, Jungle Jim Bradley. Bradley? Jungle Jim. Yes, that name is familiar. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I'll give you his record. He's your man, all right. Fills every requirement. <laughs> yes. But will he take the risk? Risk? That's what Jungle Jim Bradley lives on. The greater the risk, the better he likes it. Well, General, that should make him crazy about this. Because I don't think he has a chance of coming through, even if he succeeds in doing the job. <laughs> And so a new adventure shapes itself for Jungle Jim. A new adventure apparently more packed with excitement and danger than anything he had ever attempted. But Jungle Jim is in the middle of a tiger hunt that may turn out to be a manhunt that ends it all for those daring jungle explorers. Time alone will tell, so listen for the next episode of Jungle Jim. The adventures of Jungle Jim, pictured in full colors in the Comic Weekly, which comes to you every week with your Hearst Sunday newspaper, is but one of the entertainment features in this great comic supplement, containing the world's largest comics and adventure stories. The Comic Weekly is filled with entertaining and amusing action pictures, appealing to all the family. Why, there's Barney Google, The Little King, Jiggs and Maggie, The Cats and Yarmer Kids, the exciting adventures of Flash Gordon and Jungle Jim. These and others are to be found every Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the full-color comic supplement which is included with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. More thrilling radio adventures of Jungle Jim next week on this station at the same time, so be sure to tune in. Mm -hmm.